Hi, I'm Dr Zoe Waller and I'm a lecturer in Chemical Biology in the School of Pharmacy at UEA. The aim of this video is to explain our recent research to a general audience. It's just been published in Organic and Biomolecular Chemistry. The article is open access, so you don't need a subscription to read it. The link to the article is on the YouTube webpage. The title of the work is Identification of New DNA I-motif Binding Ligands Through a Fluorescent Intercalator Displacement Assay. The work is about a special type of DNA structure called the I-motif, or C quadruplex. This structure is different to the typical twisted ladder B-form double helix which was first proposed by Watson and Crick in 1953. It's been shown that compounds that bind I-motif structures can help switch genes on or off, so it could be used to target genetic diseases such as cancer or diabetes. This work describes using a fluorescence assay to find new compounds to bind this DNA structure. We use a special compound as a probe called thiazol orange. On its own, this compound does not fluoresce or emit light. But if we add DNA, in this case I-motif DNA, the compound then fluoresces and then can give out light. And we can measure this fluorescence. But if we were to add another compound, which we want to test to see if it binds I-motif DNA, it can then displace the thiazol orange probe. So here we have tobramycin displacing the thiazol orange probe, i.e. this means it kicks it off. So we've displaced the thiazol orange, kicked it off, and what happens then is that we then lose that fluorescence. We can monitor this loss of fluorescence and use it to measure how well the new compound binds. If it binds better than the thiazol orange, it will displace it and we lose the fluorescence. If the thiazol orange binds better to the I-motif than the new compound, it won't move off the DNA and you still see the fluorescence. We were able to use this to look at a library of compounds to see how many were able to bind I-motif and found several new I-motif binding ligands that have potential for further development. This work was supported by the BBSRC who have funded it. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.